Hi, this is Priyanka from EQ Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today here we have Mr. Manis. Hello, Mr. Manis. Welcome to EQ. Good morning. Hello. Sir, can you tell us something about your company and how it came into India? Uh, myself is Manish Gupta from Insulation Energy Director and we are from Jaipur, Rajasthan. Currently, we are uh, manufacturing solar modules. Uh, our capacity is 100 megawatt per year. This company incorporated in the year uh, 2017 and uh, we are started in Rajasthan in 2017 and the, our uh, manufacturing unit is largest and biggest in the Rajasthan. We are the fully automatic uh, plant and till now we have uh, already supplied and uh, installed more than 100 megawatt of module in throughout the India. Sir, can you tell us something or highlight your milestone achievement of your project? We have supplied uh, lots of projects till now, uh, ground mounted, rooftop, solar pumping and uh, other applications, off-grid applications also. Our single project is uh, situated in 4 megawatt single project in uh, district Ujjain, MP. Then one is 2 megawatt in uh, Rajasthan, Bhatla and lots of other projects in uh, government sector also. 1.3 megawatt in MES, Babina then 1.7 megawatt in MES uh, uh, Lucknow and rooftop application, ground mounted applications, it's n numbers of applications we have already supplied and installed. So what are the challenges for upscaling and mainstreaming, mainstreaming rooftop solar? Uh, right now the main challenge is the government policies. Currently uh, government policies are not clear and not favorable for the SMEs and MSMEs just like us. Policies are uh, not clear, not long-term policies. Just now I say that uh, safeguard duty. Last year, uh, in July 30, government, uh, central government imposed safeguard duty uh, on solar cells and modules. That is up to in uh, 2020 July. But after that, there is nobody, nobody knows that what is uh, happening to the duties, anti-dumping duties, safeguard duties. And apart this, lots of other matters, raw materials also our, which falls under anti-dumping duty and safeguard duty. But the same time, uh, the same material with the SEZ units who are situated in the SEZ unit, they are not need to pay any safeguard duty and anti-dumping duty. So it created lots of very big imbalance in the market. And it's a very, uh, this is not a good uh, condition situation for the SMEs, MSMEs and uh, the entire market also. Sir, can you tell us like what are the products, new services, new launches are you exhibiting at your booth today? Currently, we are focusing maximum on the monopark. This is the up, uh, upcoming technology in the market. And right now, we are regularly supplying the high efficiency monopark module with power output of 375 watt to 400 watt in 72 cells and uh, 310 watt to 320 watt in 60 cells and uh, 165 to 170 volts in uh, 36 cells this is a this is a new technology and in the future timing also the monopark is the leading technology than the poly so we are regularly uh, working on this and we are also pursue our uh, uh, product for uh, bis also we are we very soon we will got bis also okay, sir. so what are the pipeline of project in hand uh, currently we are uh, focusing on the upcoming kusum yojana and sabak yojana and we have uh, participated in, in tenders, in Gujarat uh, tenders also, in Kusum Yojana tender also. That should be maybe uh, considered and open very soon. And other than we have our regular supplies, which we are regularly doing through the factory to our, uh, you can say, to, to our channel partners, to our EPC partners and other company also. Okay, sir, EQ has completed 10 years. Can you say something about us? EQ, uh, I, I can say the EQ is the leading magazine in uh, solar industry in India. We can get all best available knowledge with the EQ. I will con uh, con uh, congratulate to all EQ team and especially to Mr. Anand for very good effort for uh, empowering this solar industry. And EQ is the leading in the, uh, magazine for solar industry. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.